recorded live. Good evening. Welcome to CRZY News with Hugh Millitson. And we take you now to the House Senate hearing into the Vincini Cosmetics Corporation. And we see there Senator Quint will take you live to the hearing. Uh, Judy Vincini, uh, you are the uh, owner and CEO of Vincini Cosmetics. Is that correct? Yes, sir. That's me. Allow me, uh, Miss Vincini, to get right to the point. Did you, in fact, insert a low-level, slow-acting acid into the Vincini face cream? without uh, the assembly line workers or even the retail consumers who purchase your product from being aware of this? I think that was the other I think that was the other me. You know, there's a there's the the miss Yes, Judy, Judy Mancini. Yes, sir, Miss Judy Vincini, cosmetic store owner. And then there's Miss Judy Vincini, the damaged consumer. Well, Judy, right at this moment uh, in our hearing, we're talking to you, the uh, owner and CEO of the Cosmetic Corporation. Uh, uh, is, is it a fact that your company, the Vincini Cosmetic Company, is in fact being taken to court in a class action lawsuit? brought by thousands of women nationwide who bought and used the tainted face cream? Yes, they bought it, and I assume that they used it. And now your company is being sued for that? Well, yes, that's what they tell me. (laughs) Judy, how can you in good conscience sit there and admit that you did something like that? Well, I don't know who exactly did that. You're talking to Ms. Vincini, the CEO, the owner and director of this cosmetics firm. But the other person, that person that I can't control that comes out when I'm not looking, I think she did it. I really can't remember. Ms. Vincini, uh, it, it is not true that at a certain point in time your uh, face was injured in an accident some years ago? Yes, yes, that's true. Well, I'm going to yield the floor to another congressman, and I'm sorry, Ms. Vincini, at this point I have no further questions. Hugh Millicent, back from the uh, Senate hearings into the Vincini Cosmetics. In a totally unrelated story, Vincini Cosmetics was once again the focus of news reports. Uh, Shumiko Hiramoto the daughter of Japanese business magnate Fudiki Hiramoto, was the near victim of the Murgatroyd serial killer. She was walking to her car on the Vincini Cosmetics parking lot when an as yet unidentified assailant attacked her. She managed to escape the assault, essentially unharmed, but everyone uh, left at the scene uh, by the perpetrator, evidence left there, would seem to uh, link the assailant uh, to the other recent unsolved homicides of young women in the Murgatroyd area. And uh, that's CRZY News Bulletin, and we'll be back later. Thank you, and good night. Murgatroyd, you're watching CRZY. Wow.